200 are sick with norovirus. Ten of your sides, Jason Marks joins us live on the Williamsburg campus with more on the students' conditions. Jason? Less there are about 7,000 students here at William and Mary. Now, out of that 7,000, only 200 students came down with the norovirus. Combine that with the four students who are believed to have the mumps. That's not a very big percentage of the population here on campus, but school officials still want to contain those illnesses before they get any further. <laughs> Greg <laughs> Alessandro and Jack Mayer live yes! in the same dorm at William and Mary. They're both <laughs> sophomores, and now they have another similarity. From Saturday night to about Sunday night, uh, I just had flu-like symptoms and was feeling really sick. I just had intense uh, vomiting and diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> yes! I was asleep for 20 hours. Both students yes! have a viral infection called the norovirus. It's a That's highly contagious disease that usually lasts for about 48 hours. It's it infected almost 200 students on campus. <laughs> I really me. didn't know what I had, so it was... It was kind of a relief to see that like other people were getting it too, but it's also kind of scary the fact that like some hey, 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 oh, not there. Which officials say the norovirus isn't the only illness going around. Mumps a little different, lasts a little longer. Cool, Chris. Highly contagious, also. Right now, four students are being treated for because, uh, having symptoms yeah, similar to the mumps, <laughs> which usually includes uh, swelling of the jaw and headaches. It's a, it's a highly contagious disease, it's so it can there. come from. Somebody who shared a drinking glass uh, to somebody, you know, who kissed another person. Uh, Here at the college, they're battling two totally different illnesses at the same time. But ironically, officials say they can be prevented the exact same way. That is ironic. That is not ironic. We need for them to, to wash their hands a lot in warm, soapy water. Yeah. If they're not going to be able to do that, to do it, uh, to use a hand sanitizer. I'm a little paranoid still just because I don't want to go through that again. I mean, I've been washing my hands and stuff and just avoiding <laughs> uh, germs. <laughs> School officials do believe that they're on the downslope of these illnesses. The Student Health Center says yesterday they saw about 100 new cases of the norovirus. Today, only about 20. As for the four reported cases I didn't make it. of they the mumps, me. three of those students already lived just off campus. The one that fast. did live on campus. Here at William Mary was sent off campus. She'll be living off campus for the next five to ten days until she is better, and then she can come back. So it does look like those have been contained for right now. Of course, we'll keep you posted. For now, we're live at William Mary. Jason Mark, Wavy News 10. It was just a couple of weeks ago in Noro.